Hey what's up YouTube this is Imash from Deputal and in this video I am going to do a quick review and I will tell you the pros and cons it means the plus points and the bugs of the Note 7 version 1 for Samsung Galaxy G7 I have already uploaded a video of how you can download and install this ROM you can check out the video I have provided the links in the description and the videos related to Marshmallow Root Expose all the videos are in the description you can easily check out that. So starting with the this screen here you can see that we are getting this quick connect option and we are getting this information like device model android version build version battery life networks wi-fi information next alarm uptime and the networks and just swiping here we have all of the same quick toggles we can find in our stock marshmallow of g7 or the s5 or the a5 from uh, the developer has not copied it from the original Note 7 maybe we can expect it in the next update and also even the settings 2 is also the same as of the S5 as the base version is the S5 version 2 so many of the features will be of the S5 version 2 ROM I have also uploaded a video on this you can check out I have provided all the videos in the description I forgot to add one of the best features of the Note 7 UI that is you can easily uninstall for stop the apps directly from the home screen like if you want to remove this lip card option so just drag it and drag it to downwards and here you can see that the background is blur and I can easily click on uninstall and now from here directly I can uninstall the app and if you want to remove the, these notifications icons like from Facebook or WhatsApp so just drag like this and click on this remove batch and here you can see that I am not getting any Facebook notification option you can do the same with whatsapp too sorry you have to hold it for less than one second so make sure you do that and from here you can remove you can also force stop uninstall it directly so this is the best feature which you can also use in your Note 7 ROM so here, here you can see that we are getting the network speed from here you can check your uploads and download speed easily and whenever you press your power button you will see these five things like power off restart emergency mode is common and from here you can easily take screenshots palm swipe to capture is not still working it is a bug but still you can use this it is faster than that and you can also use this screen recorder here you can show touches if you want to stop just stop it and from here here you can easily do this and we still have the lock screen bug let me first show you that like I am here I am setting a pattern here you can see that it is still showing swipe and when you click on this for a few seconds it is showing pattern but it is disabling it may be a loop but it is a bug and we still can't access our theme store whenever you try it will make your false stop or otherwise it will not connect to the theme store so starting with the settings we have everything same here we have the same smart manager as of the S5 ROM. We have same this notifications, nothing. Here we have this floating messages options. And in advance we have now this games. The game launcher and the game tones which you will find in the S7 S devices. And game launcher is working fine with some of the games like I have tried Subway Surfers and it is running very smoothly and I am also able to save some battery life even while playing here you can see that here let me first add the game there is no game let me quickly download the game So here our game is downloaded so let me quickly add it to my unlisted games. So here we have the service of us. So here we have the save 
power during game option like whenever I try to off it will run on 60 FPS but let's try and save maximum power and here you can see that a little drop of the frame rate and now it will run on 30 FPS and it will save battery life though it will be become laggy not 60 FPS but it will save battery life if you want to play games and your battery life is around 30 to 20 percent here you can see that the frame rates and I have turned this game tools off even the no alerts during gaming is also not working I am getting alerts while playing games so it's also a major problem and now we have this one handed operation just press home button three times to make the screen small and you can access your one handed operations everything the same this pop up view gesture palm swipe to guess capture is not still working smart alert easy mute galaxy labs if you want all of the apps in your home screen just turn it on and if you don't want just off it so now we have multi user support you cannot access themes home screen is of the same still now So nothing different here, battery life, now here is the new thing, in the battery you can, we have this feature with which you can select the apps and you can click on save power and it will run on low megahertz like if you want your YouTube just click on save power and it will save the battery life and whenever you try to run it it will run on slow speed so here we have some options like mid it will limit the maximum brightness by minus one percent limit defies performance you can you, if you want to apply prevent background and even though you can also customize it if you want in maximum we will get a limit maximum brightness of zero limit device so it's a cool feature if you want a good battery life so nothing different here you can also use this device maintenance to easily boost the RAM so now let's quickly do a benchmark test I am just and also I want to show you this this on clicking on restart now we can access reboot hot reboot download option if you want to go back to a download mode recovery safe mode easily so now I am just hot rebooting it so here you can see the new boot animation of the note 7 I cannot say this room as the complete note 7 but we can hope in the second version so now let me just quickly and here you can see that we are getting this feature you can access multi window from here directly or you can just hold it to access a multi window easily and if you want to lock apps like if you want to lock this game launcher and every video click on close all it will not close the game launcher but you can swipe from here to clear it here you can see and you can also access this quick toggle so you can add applications just click on this plus symbol and you can access it easily from here so now let's do Geekbench 4 first first I will do sweep you So the CPU benchmarking is completed and we are getting a 
decent score of the single core and the multi core score I don't know why it is getting so low around 3000 previously I was getting around 3800 sorry and the single core score is good but multi core score is maybe I have opened many of the apps you can try it on your own so guys this was the small review with this note 7 version 1 rom ported for samsung Galaxy g7 and we find many of the cool features like game launcher and some of the major features in the restart option and many other features with some little bugs which will be soon removed by the developer in the next update we can hope that and i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.